So imagine walking up to 16 hours in a day for 7 days. That should be like 160 pounds per day and over 1000 pounds in one week. Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. If I should tell you guys that I will have the time to sit down and make video these days, I am definitely lying to you. So time check, five minutes past six, and I'm heading to work, and this is a 13 hour shift. Yeah, you heard me right. 13 hours shift. You take uh, one hour plus to commute to work, and one hour plus to come back. So where is the time to sit down? and make video so I'll be making this video on the road my break time when I'm back from work any small chance or opportunity that I have I will use it to drop one point or the other So the question is, how can you pay tuition fees by working a part-time in the UK? So I'm going to answer this question in two form. Firstly, I will tell you how impossible it is to pay your tuition fees in the UK while working part-time as a student. And secondly, I will still tell you how possible you can do this, though you might not achieve it 100%, but I will still give you some information on how to go about this. So I'm going to start with how impossible it is to do this before we look at uh, the possibilities. So first of all, we all understand that before applying for a TF4 visa in the UK, you must have showed the British Embassy your full tuition and your cost of living for nine months so we are just going to assume that you just want to hustle back the tuition fee that you have already showed yeah so number one one of the condition of a tier 4 visa is that you are not allowed to do a paid or a voluntary work more than 20 hours in a week that is during term time term time is when school is in session so the minimum wage in uk is between eight uh, 0.21 pounds so let's just call it 8.72 pounds if you calculate this there's no magic there's nothing that you do that you'll be able to raise 11,000 pounds in a year so we are using 11,000 pounds to calculate uh, the fees for one year yeah so I just arrived at my place of work the video continues during my break time Reason number two is that you are coming into a country with a new system of education you have never experienced before. Believe me, it's going to take you months before you can blend into the system of education here. So a typical example is that many African and Asian countries have never been exposed to a system of education that everything is done on the computer. You are submitting assignment on a computer. You are writing a test on the computer. Basically, everything is going to be online. So before you even understand what is happening in the school and be conversant with all these equipment and uh, computer facilities, you have wasted like two to three months. So now, where is the time for you to puzzle back your tuition fees. Some programs are quite technical and challenging that uh, you'll be exposed to some softwares you have never used before. So you are definitely going to spend a lot of time understanding these basic things before you can even think of raising money in the country. So uh, you really need to work hard before you can blend and understand some of these things. Working hard in school is not compatible with working longer hours on a job. So another thing is accommodation. Let's say you are paying for your accommodation and you are not in any means of a scholarship accommodation. That is, you are bound to pay 250 to 300 pounds every month. And let's say you are working 20 hours every week on a minimum wage, you are definitely gonna raise this money in a week plus. So automatically your one week plus on a job is going on accommodation. 
So it will be hard for you to raise this money when you are making all these expenses. Alright guys, break time is over. So let's continue on the video. So now let's consider the possibilities of uh, paying for this tuition fees. Number one on my list is the care and mental training that I talked about on my last video. Yeah, actually there are two types of training that you can do. The care home training, where you can work in care home and take care of people that are vulnerable. And at the mental, where you can work in hospital and take care of mentally declined patients. So the truth is this, the mental training pays better than K-Homes. K-Homes pays between £8.24 while mental pays from £9 per hour. So working in the mental is better off than working in k home. And another thing is that if you are working under mental, you can get up to 13 hours shift where you will make more money than somebody that is working in a k home. In mental weekend, the pay is better off. On Saturdays, you'll be paid up to 13 to 15 to 17 pounds, depending on the hospital that you are being posted to. And on Sunday, you can make up to 22 pounds, depending on uh, the hospital. Yeah, if you calculate what you get on Sunday, you are getting close to 260 something pounds. So if you add that up, you are making over 400 pounds in just Saturday and Sunday. Can you imagine that? And you add that to what you are making on the weekdays. Yeah, so another thing is to come in for two or three years program because you have a whole lot of time. So you have more vacation than somebody that is running a one year program. So if you are here for two years program, uh, let's just say the tuition fees for two years masters can be between 14, 15, 16 pounds and uh, you have two years. Believe me, before you finish, you raise that money in this country. Then point number three, you have to get ready for vacation because when you are on vacation, you can work more than 20 hours. So you can work as long as you wish. This is the right time to make money. You are not limited on the number of hours that you are going to work. You get your clothes ready. Sometimes you have to be moving from one shift to the other. And believe me, you can raise close to two to three thousand pounds when you are on vacation. Factory work. Factory work can pay you like a gold mine. Though you can do your normal shift and you can still do extra time. You can work up to 16 hours in a day and they pay up to 10 pounds per hour. So imagine working up to 16 hours in a day for seven days. That should be like 160 pounds per day and over 1000 pounds in one week. So this is really going to work for guys because ladies will not be able to do factory work. Hello guys, time check 10.21 p.m. You can see the time we come back from work. So I want to try and end the video here. But yeah, so guys, do well to consider all these points and level it up and see what's gonna work for you and what's not gonna work for you. But don't forget you are here for study. So I will strongly advise you to concentrate on what you came for. Yeah, so that is it for the video. If you like the video, do well to give this video a thumbs up. It goes a long way to help the channel to grow. And also don't forget to share and drop a comment. If you have not subscribed yet, may you consider subscribing to the channel. And uh, I will see you guys in the next one. Peace out. And so